It started at the crack of dawn, a day the children would never forget. The children woke up as early as their eyes would allow. Excited, they ran out. But what they saw outside turned their smiles upside down. Oh no! Look at what the color monster has done! It's stolen all of the lovely colors from our land! Our holidays are terribly ruined! We cannot possibly play in a land without color! What are we going to do? They all sat down, disappointed at the old antics of the color monster. There is someone who can help us! Who? Well, you know him very well! He's blue and yellow and got lots of brains! Bob the Train! And before they could settle down, there came a voice from behind them. Hello, children! Did someone call for me? Uh, yes, Bob, we did! Look at what the color monster has done! He took away all the bright, lovely colors from our playground! How can we play now? Don't worry, children! Bob doesn't like to see his friends upset! And I'm going to help you fix this! But how? Just leave the worries to me! And you think about enjoying your holidays! Do you trust me? Of course we do! Hooray, Bob! As all the children eagerly awaited Bob, he came by, his coat full of surprise goodies for them. What do you have for us, Bob? Please tell us. We can't hold the excitement in any longer. Very well, kids. I have here for each of you a coloring book with all the lovely colors you children have been missing so much. But what do we do with these books, Bob? How will they help make our playground colorful again? Nothing is impossible when Bob the Train is around. These books are no ordinary coloring books, children. They're magical coloring books. Ooh, ah. This made Bob smile. He lowered his voice like he was about to tell the children a secret. Well, children, this is only between us. But anything you draw and color in this book springs to life. So you kids can draw anything you like in these books, and your dull, lifeless playground will spring alive in no time. What? Oh, Bob, don't mess with us. Who ever heard of a magical coloring book? <laughs> this is no joke, my lovely friends. It's as true as the day and night. So we can draw anything in the book? Absolutely. Anything you want this playground to be. Awesome! Now the kids couldn't wait to get their hands on these magical coloring books. They all ran to Bob. Bob was surrounded with lovely hyper children, and this is something he enjoyed more than anything in the world. With a coloring book in each of their hands and a bunch of crayons, the little kids sat down with the task of renovating their playground. The little one wasted no time in coloring the lifeless ground. With each stroke of her crayon, the ground came alive. One green stroke at a time. And in four seconds flat, the white ground was greener than ever. She exclaimed in joy. This really is a magical coloring book. Bob traveled through the ground to see what his lovely friends were drawing. What are you drawing, Polly? I'm drawing tall mountains that go all the way up to the sky and touch the clouds. But there's something still missing in the blue sky, my dear. What is it, Bob? Well, can you think of something that's yellow in color with bright orange rays that light up the morning sky? The sun! The sun! I'm going to draw it so it looks like it's playing peekaboo with the mountains! Sounds lovely! Johnny, my naughty little friend. What are you drawing? Your coloring seems so rushed. It looks like someone is having trouble staying inside the lines. I can't wait to play on the swing and the slide. I'm going to color them red and yellow and violet and all the nice colors I can think of. 
Bob was standing next to Mary and looking into her book. What are you drawing, my little friend? I'm drawing green trees. So when I'm tired of playing, I can come rest under the cool shade. Also, look! This is for when we're hungry and need a healthy snack. <laughs> That's mighty smart of you, little one. Bob laughed and walked away, just in time, because an apple fell down right where Bob was standing. Whoops! Just missed me! <laughs> Jack was so engrossed in his drawing, he did not notice Bob standing right next to him. <clears throat> Hi, Bob. You almost scared me. <gasps> <laughs> I enjoyed watching you draw with such attention. May I ask, what masterpiece are you in the process of making? Jack blushed a bit. Everyone knew he was the best artist among all of them, but he never liked flaunting his art. Well, Bob, I'm drawing us a little house that we can use to store all our toys. And this magical coloring book and the crayons. I wouldn't want to lose this ever. Also, I'm drawing a fence all around the park so the color monster cannot come in again. What about other children that want to play in this new colorful park? They are always welcome, Bob. Bob looked around proudly at his little artist friends. While Bob was in his own thoughts, the little one came up to him with a book in her hand. Look, Bob. I made new friends. Bob was ecstatic to see his little friends happy at last. Well, I hope you kids are happy now. Most definitely, Bob. Thank you so much for helping us and saving our holidays. What would we do without you? This playground wouldn't look so beautiful without all your efforts. So kudos to you all. And I promise, the color monster won't be here to trouble you children. Bob was in the middle of all the fanfare. He looked around and saw all the children enjoying themselves. They had forgotten about the color monster. They had forgotten that only a few hours ago, their playground was colorless. And with their little creative hands and talented minds, they restored it to its full glory. Wow, wow.